So why don't you bring Wilson and the normal party over there more? Don't sever a condom all together? Well, Ben actually died actually after the hard yakrit. So we're going to party over there more. Nope. The other can be, can be done buried. And it looks like she's going to run out of the only universe now. And that's all the confirmed. I got all the shots out of the magic. The flash are all dead. So, yeah, Neo said it's going to get another one that is called the Super Universe now. Weird name I know, but <laughs> that's what they call it, not me. So, yeah, that's interesting to say the least. And honestly, they just confirmed the Elvis. Well, I had a good start. It's never going to last forever. And honestly, it's a little bit definitely Elvis. All good to become the Avengers. So, yeah, definitely Elvis fan. I'm just sorry for you guys. And honestly, what's for you? This thing is never going to last forever. And honestly, I'm just glad it's over. Just for, and um, hey, got me on Ted Bryant, and our day one, you can find Super Mario is in the new Elvis, okay, the new Big Universe, yep. New Atari's engineer, we had to well know, I'm not here for anyone Elvis now. Why? Mother, I find Elvis to be a crust the fuck, crust the fuck on Mega Man again, and it's pretty amazing, honestly. With the devil to fly to me, and he had to go soon, and that should be damn better than that, the last one standing. I think it's a to enjoy the Elvis in my Elvis one and last leg. I mean, literally. So, the Batman Superman really confirmed that scene 2 confirmed that the Elvis not really dead and buried. It's not shocked to me. And normally I'm on top of this stuff, but honestly, these guys are very fascinating. I just com confirmed more and more that maybe trying to make you at the TV. Well, what a bad idea in concept. In execution, maybe having a lot of pretending it was not a good idea. And then you can many over it, it can be dead and buried, and now it's gone. So, yeah, it's be fun. Again, what does that mean, Minette? Well, you'll find out, you know. So I do want to buy any, 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 any news. By the way, this all to come on YouTube and then com, com, comment Chris. I'll be eating hip here for all the information that you get. So comment Chris, thank you for sharing the information of what, from, I think from, um, when you tried to Randy. And, um, I hope you all enjoy my video. Yep. So, yeah, it should be fun. Again, what that mean? Well, you're fine. Yep, so you want to buy any, 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 any news. Yep, so you see ya. Oh, I know. Oh, I know. And you can tell my intro after you can tell my intro about this news. Why? You'll find out what's going on. No, I said, no, I don't want YouTube video, my YouTube video, I didn't remember. But you know what? Fuck it, this idea very, I think, cool, I had a conversation that, that um, this guy had. So, what's the part of that? Yep. No, it cause plays John Diggle in Arrow, the larger Arrowverse, yeah, David and Brandon Lois. This conversation wasn't just a quick high and bye, no. It lasted around 10 whole minutes where we were yep. basically just discussing all things Arrowverse the whole time. Yep. And during our conversation, David revealed to me some very interesting details about the future yep. of the Arrowverse and CW's plan Here we go. for Superman and Lois going forward. One of those details that really caught my attention was the potential return of Stephen Amell's Oliver Queen, yep. aka the Green Arrow, and the fact that CW are now planning to build a Superverse. Yep, you heard that right, folks. We're gonna Superverse. Me and y'all need to all show coming out of Superman with a spin off all part of Superverse now. Me and the Elvis is not a very damn Billy. Which, am I happy about this? Am I surprised? Am I shocked? Not really. But Billy, the Flash could, cannot stay on forever. Right into all dead. All the show will be gone, gone at the end. Uh, and uh, at this point, what do you do? The name is all show gone anyway, so at this point, since they did the end of the Elvis, I did a merger killing. And I got a new universe now. It's called the Superman and Lois universe. So, yeah, like being a hero at the even longer, let's uh, start that universe. We're gonna start the universe with Superman now. And what is it good in my opinion? Let's be real. Superman and Lois yeah, is a great show. I love this show. It's a great series. And I even have the future. Don't know how I'm not worried that I may, may get fucked up by the same people who destroyed that good old Ellen Flash. But you know what? As long as they get the good word, they want to keep everyone in check. I'm I, I'm all in for the show to keep going for, on forever, baby. So yeah, that's the good news. Here's the bad news, though. Yeah, yeah, Goblin Knights. Yeah, this is one of the shows that connected this, this show. It. Why? This show is trash. Like, they didn't exist. But, well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's continue. Yep. One of the things that David and I discussed was his announced Justice U show and the other announced CW show, Gotham Knight. <laughs> pretty much confirmed that both shows are actually set on the same earth as Superman and Lois. And at the what? Wait, wait, what? How the fuck is Gotham Knight connected to this show? That didn't make any sense. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Can I go and a bad idea? Don't. Brother God, don't connect that piece of trash with this great show. 
Don't do it! It's a bad idea! It's, it's a death sentence! Like, oh, uh, that doesn't work for me. I don't want Goblin Knight ever in this room anymore because Goblin Knight was trash. It's bad. It was, it was a, a crap the fuck. Please, I can not get that show to this. But no, I don't care okay, that not this show did it, but that's not a bad idea. Because it's a terrible, 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 terrible show. It was trash. It looks like bait. Okay, not bait. It looks like it was horrible. So then he was say uh, that that's the red flag I, I have right now with the new unit. The fact that it made, it made the same mistakes like Ella did. Like, can't do good shows or bad shows. And, uh, let's hope we don't let that the case. Let's hope that's bullshit. But if it's true, then yeah, it's got a red flag. But uh, let's continue, yep. By the lowest, at the John Diggle in the Justice You Show isn't the John Diggle on Earth Prime, but the John Diggle we see in Superman and Lois. Yep. There's more he confirmed, which we'll get to shortly, but this bit tells us most of what we need to know regarding the future of DC TV on the CW. Yep. They're fizzling out the Arrowverse shows with the last remaining show yep. being The Flash. And once that makes sense. Like, look, let's be The Flash is a terrible, terrible show right now. And honestly, since they aren't ending, ending at the air with The Flash, the fight at the final on the carbon, I'm all for the Arrowverse going away. Because it's never going to last forever. Not like forever. And it's in the, the devil the Elvis, so be it. I'm all for it because look. Elvis has time and has error, but it couldn't last forever. So if it is the end, so be it. If if it, if we end the flag right here now, I'm I'm happy about that because that means we don't do any more bullshit any, ever again. Wait, what do you what do you mean with Stargo? What do you mean the first short thing and, and, and to be fair, Stargo itself I think that sure it's safe, but that's on Earth two. So that, that's what we find. I hope! I hope! I can't even get that one, but anyway, uh, uh, you know, let's get to shit, shall we? Yep. Once that's done, it's yep. officially over. No more Arrowverse shows, and the CW will focus on making new shows for this new Superverse. Yeah! I guess that's going to be the new name for it going forward. Superverse. Okay. Weird name. But I'm up for it. I had that name before. Like, Superverse, I mean, kind of weird name, but I think that makes sense. Because Superman is the first Superhero. So anyway, it makes sense to call their new mate Superverse. Not the best name in the world, but hey, what are you gonna do? It's better than an alternative there than Elvis. That it, it starts in my world and we continue we continue by the way this show goes and we get more spin-offs. Now that could be right away minute four, but we'll see anything more. This also likely yep. means is that we're going to be potentially getting even more new CW Superverse spin-off shows in the yep. future other than Justice U and Gotham Knights. Kind of like how when Barry made yeah. his first appearance in the Arrowverse on Arrow, then he got his own show yeah. in the form of The Flash. I'm expecting something like this to happen where we see a character appear in one of these spin-off shows or even Superman and Lois who yeah. will want to have their own show in the future. David also said that as far as Earth Prime Diggle is concerned, his story is now officially over. And the oh last yeah, the Green Lantern episode. The last appearance on The Flash when he chose to not take on his Green Lantern ring. And speaking of The Flash, David also mentioned that season 9 of The Flash is going to be its last season. Uh that makes sense. Honestly, let's be real. This show we're not going to fight with. Honestly... You can't burn the burn to all the flash story anyway. Okay, you burn the current modern flash story anyway. So it's it's seen at the fi final season. Good. That means we, we don't want to do it this garbage show ever again and I can move on with my life. The thing is, I have not watched the flash since season seven or season six. I forget! I dropped out the flash a long time ago. So honestly, uh, it makes sense you know to be the finale. If it's we it's when the, the, the show is season nine Good. At least you and on. Okay, but you're not gonna end on a high note. You can't end on a high note now because you put you put so many stories. So end on a sort of good note. Quite a much. Yeah. Who knows? It did at the end. So be it. We 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 will end that show at the end. The death flag. And I hate saying that, but I used to like that show. It should be good. What the fuck happened? I don't know what happened. Bad lighting happened. <sighs> I don't. I don't want to talk about the flag ever again. We just sad. I love the flag. If my favorite character, we love it. My flag. Barry Allen is uh, not my favorite character ever, but I like Wally more than Barry. But that's just me. But it just sucks that the flag and ending on a bad note. But honestly, kind of mercy killing.
And it won. After season nine, yep. the show is done and the Arrowverse will officially be a thing of the past. Yep. Now, this could very well be just speculation on David's part because obviously he's not an executive. He True. He to make final decisions. But if we are to take a look at all the clues and the things that have been confirmed already, it all adds up. That yeah. That could very well be Flash's final season. Yep. Another one of the things that David and I were talking about was the recent news of Superman and Lois separating from the Arrowverse. Yep. I voiced my displeasure at this to David, but he responded with basically explaining that the reason this was done was to essentially not tie their hands down to a decade of world building already done by yeah. the Arrowverse so that the show can be free to do whatever they want and bring in the characters that they want without having to worry about whether or not they were dead or alive in the Arrowverse timeline. That, that part is also legit. Honestly, we would know that already. And honestly, that makes sense. Look, the other that man from one more time had its run. And it's kind of murder killing. At this point, you ran out of ideas. So, fuck it. Just blow it up. And we're going to do like, the continuity and that bullshit and we'll be able again. Which is, on the one hand, that guy sucks. On the one hand, on the other hand, no, it makes sense. But you separate the middle of the other is a good idea. Because, let's be real. They don't want to decline quality anyway, so... Honestly, what that suck is the end of us. So be it. I'm, I, I'm all for the first restarts if we get a good story. And if, hey, we get a good series out, by the way. I'm, I'm all for it because what's the video? can now watch forever. And, what the... See how you got sold off anyway. With zero dollars, which is not, 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 not a shock. I mean, I think we're never going to sell off forever. Um, at this point, I don't know. It kind of actually makes sense to end it, end it, end it on the flash. Then I guess throw it arrow, should have ended with an arrow, but uh, who cares? Ain't more. It's interesting that he brought this up because he was specifically referring to Oliver Queen, aka Green Arrow, played by Stephen Amell. Yeah. Said that by having Superman and Lois on a different earth, it opens up the door for characters like Green Arrow to yeah. return if the scheduling was right and if Stephen Amell wanted to do it. I guess this is one positive thing about the separation from the Arrowverse because Stephen Mel is my favorite TV actor, Green Arrow is my favorite Arrowverse hero and my second all-time favorite hero and Arrow is my all-time favorite show. So, so Stephen returning as Oliver Queen, now being a possibility again, is something to be excited about. Yeah. But anyway, that was the main gist of my 10-minute conversation with David Ramsey. It was great talking to him. He's a Ooh. really nice guy. And I'm excited to see him stick around in the new Superverse that they're trying to build. Yep. What are your thoughts on CW's new Superverse? Yep. And in that the end of the that show. Yeah, it, it, it's confirmed. The era is now done, Billy. It's gone. It's dead. And it's the end of an era. Which is what the other say. With Ozzy, that makes sense. The other never got for no, this is the end. So be it. I'm I'm I am i am i am i am i am all for starting a new universe from scratch. Granted, I don't want to go not in the train wreck. Well, okay, not train wreck. I don't want to guys to go in the universe at all. But <laughs> yeah, we sure that turns out. That show won't last. That show will be damn brilliant in the future. But we'll see. Yeah, yeah, damn video not show. Hold on. We find all. You run I just remember to my favorite show. I love the show. I'm really bad on trying to find the great show. And I love the show. I love season one. I've seen two. And I love the series. So, yeah, the, the Batman in you know, I love the show. And the Batman in you know, when I heard the show, no pun, the Elven my main, I'm madly happy about that. Why? Because, let's be real. The Elven main for a moment time, when it didn't first start, it was a cool idea. It was a cool thing. It was bad on it. It great years. However, it made a more time when this thing had to keep going and going and going. It kind of went to what went out to, uh, off the tra train tracks, and the entire unit went to hell. Gee, what happened? Well, you had bad writing, bad writing, and yeah, and it all complete crap the fuck. So, you need to say, I'm not even having anybody's dead at this point, and if anybody can burn it, it's not dead. I think it makes sense. Because, what? That woman's gone, thank god, that woman's a bad show, I need to go away. Supergirl's gone, Flash is ending in season 9, at the final season. Black Lightning's gone, Way of Tomorrow's gone. You barely have nothing left. The only show you have left now are Stargirl, and, and that's about it. Yeah, so let's be real. With the other not done, Billy, and he's only going for a lot more bigger year for Supergirl, I'm all for that. Because, let's be real, I'm not with the others. It will never, ever, ever gonna last forever. No life forever. And if this guy opened the door for a lot more, I think more stuff coming out, I'm up for that. 
Now, what did that mean at the first human look? Did that mean that this human will keep on going and this will get more spin-offs? I think it's possible because for what I well well for what you heard you know I did well enough from this um but you know they really can bring that one if just start new universe from scratch. Which I don't know for that because it makes sense for Superman to be starting a new universe because he's the first superhero. And anyway, it did get over level more good stuff, I'm not for that. Because you know I mean Cherry I have a love to say that I and small screen basically at the end of this universe. Lots of them. And it's even when they open a lot more doors out there, they give me a lot more carry out of that out there in live action. I'm all for that. Because as they more, it's even when it's the first two bill. So, with even when not being at the be set up in the elbow, then I mean they get more characters, they're just going to want a lot more character PR out in live action. And it was on a small screen. I'm all for that. Yeah, that was just even on the big screen, I'm all for that. But, god damn it, I want good story, damn it. And if they did open up a lot more, more, more stuff for the future, I'm all for that. Now, what character do I want to see in this new, 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 new universe? Obviously, you want, you know what I want. I want to see the Superman family when the floor, but then I did get Superman family. Kind of. Sort of. I got my wish, and you know, with my boy John and I and, well, John and I new character, I didn't even scratch it, and, you know, I didn't even new character because my boy John and baby, um, John and I went this show. It, no, it is complicated. So, it's kind of funny, but John did explain to you, you, you cares. The one going, you know, and he kind of joined out there with the powers. The other one going out there with the show, and you know, the, the one who's on my, right, yeah, yes, but, um, she still had the heart and soul out the character. So it's kind of like a win win that was, you know, it's complicated. But, look, the show, you know, as far as I can say, you know, I'm just very happy that this show can be for me having it. Now, they are, 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 they I'm a boy, it, um, still male, don't, 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 it, it did mean we get a Paul Green and all that shit, was. I'm on for that make a ton of sense. Now, does this mean general and this will open the door for a lot of other characters like a Supergirl, a girl that we can Supergirl in this universe? I think it's possible. I think I'll be up for that. Right? Yeah, because it's similar to a new urban you know, it's a new human you know, I think um, this is going to open the door for a lot more better Supergirl. And if you didn't get a bit of a word about Supergirl, I'm on for that. Heck. Alright, bring this super guy out to go right now, we can find my new point. So, in the answer, I'm gonna be hard to remember when I was saying you remember because we get a part of Super Girl Binary, we got a part of Batman Binary, and maybe we got some other character out there in this new, 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 but it's even called Superverse. I know it's confusing, I don't really want the name out of it, but that's the name they're going with, just go with it. So, in the answer, I think it's making a ton of sense. Now, I know some animal family pissed off about this, I can't, but honestly, look, we had 10 good years, well, make that. Five, five years of good television. Like, the fact that you know, we had good years I think it that long, I think, I think it's kind of a miracle. And I'll give it all this credit. Credit was due, DC TV, you know what I mean? I think DC TV, where Marvel TV kind of fucked up with their human, you know I think we did, kept their human going along the day. And for that, I give them like, the credit for credit due. They made a human from scratch and it succeeded. Was it perfect? Hell no, there's no flaws. I know that. Not, no, sunshine and rainbows. Like, not all perfect. There's no, like, metal flaws. But despite that stuff, I kept the image going, and I'm glad they kept the thing going as long as they did. While it wasn't perfect, perfect, perfect at the train, it still had, I think, a pretty good show to get in one universe. Now, when the, the thing I won, but you know what? Fuck it, I got my wish, and all good things coming in. Now, what do you mean for Star Wars? What, what do you mean, Eddie, for, um, uh, Superman Wars? I don't know. Star Wars said, give me an I'll be fine. But, um, uh, similarly, this is nice to have it all together. We've been over, that's good. So, uh, it did it the end of it. It was a good ride. We're all good on the coming inventory. And since Flash is not the fi final, 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 the end of the coffin, I'm up for that. Uh, Flash has really been trained from the very beginning. Been, okay, not from the very beginning. It's been on a uh, great mess right now. So, it did the end. So be it. Now. What did that mean for Goblin Knight of Justice You? What do you mean for those shows? Mm hmm. I have no idea. Goblin Knight, I went full away for Superman Lord Power. I don't want Goblin Knight to be 
ever, ever, ever needed after he did the main show. Heck. Yeah, I got two shows that I don't want to be born to be a girl show, mommy. It go with me, that train of a show. Get, oh my god, this show is horrible. Like, ugh, we're fucked. That show was trash. I don't want that show in the Mongolia period. But just as you, okay, just as you, it's 50-50. They have a 50-50 shot to make that show good. It didn't win, I didn't need that, but they make that show good. But games you never try a bit. I don't really trust them these days. But maybe they can pull off. Maybe they can make it good. Or oh, it could be really bad. Who knows? That show, I think, is 50 50. We don't know the quality of the show yet. We don't know about the thing. All you have in your idea is that it's going to be in development right now. So, that show will go out of the way. It's going to be really bad, we'll see. But after the other as a whole, it didn't the end. It didn't true the end of the other way. It's going to be a scratch. So be it. I'm all for that because Flash just ran out, out of gas and it's just been bad. So, it's seen that the finale, so be it. But I have a Goblin Knights. No! Do not put Goblin Knights at the end of the same era as this show. This show is perfect, leave it alone. Don't put Goblin Knights near the Super Lord Earth. That, that thing should be left, that thing should be left to die in a fire. But that's another way I'm going to do. I can hear how Goblin Knights are how bad it is, but eh, I already did my reaction to that train wreck. I'm not going to do no reaction to that train wreck. It would draw me insane how bad that show is going to be. Despite that setback in general, I think I put Super Lord as a whole. I need to enjoy the future. I'm excited about the future of Super Lord. And I can't even see in three. Like seeing the other one I'm really excited about. We've seen three win a lot, lot one in my opinion, experiment with the ending. But um despite that setback, it did at the end. Eh, it was a good ride. I'll go I'll give them a kind of end. It did the end always. So be it. It always lasted for ten years, it came out forever, and it's kinda of mercy killing. Link what the hell? The Elvis Mami started storming him for, but then went to shit. And honestly, it is the end of the Elvis. I mean, the Elvis Mami with the flash. So be it. was a fun ride, but I don't remember. All good comes to the end. It is true the end of this thing. So be it. We started strong, but it wasn't gonna last forever. And it is the end. Eh, it was a murder killer, in my opinion. We fucked the end when it was all for sure. It's so trash with Will. But I was out of winning after that. I'd be more. I didn't want to win that shit. Although the Bendy's part went to hell, but you make points. So, yeah, I did the end of this. Eh, no, no skin on my bone. It was a good ride, but all good ride must come to an entry. And see if we're going to stop and scratch, see if we're going to stop and scratch. So be it. Like I said, we don't know what the future of the Ocean is. Well, okay, we do the future. The future is going to start you from scratch. And we're going to start starting you from scratch. So be it. However, I mean, for the one that don't like Goblin Knight, the Goblin Knight's not really part of Superman Lord. We, Superman Lord, are with Goblin Knight. Goblin Knight are always sure that not need to exist. But we'll, we'll call them when we get there. But as far as that train is in, fuck that show. But for the future, eh, the future I'm going to blame him for the Superman Lord, and I'm going to the future, but time will tell until I think the old coin. But then we said. Now, if you want to kill I do want to see in the show, my band, okay, besides Connor Cameron and Ford. I want to see the Power Girl on the show. Bring him back. Power Girl, I mean, yes, yes, it's pretty, it's pretty, a, not cool. It's probably good more out of the from Earth 2. So, if we can see Power Girl on Superman Wars, I'll be up for that. She's a great character, she's tend to find, she's badass. But hey, is it the one with Power Girl? Sign me up. I love this character, she's tend to find, she's badass, she's awesome. And we get to see at the end, in, in, in Superman Wars, maybe at the end, um, in Star Girl. Then I'm gonna, ooh! What am I saying? Put it in Star Girl. That would be bad. Make it happen, DC. Or make it happen, Star Girl. They have a meeting. But I have a point. But overall, overall, it was probably like forever. It lasted for 10 years, and it did the end. It was a fun ride. But I'm assuming lost. I need to have for the future. I have for the future. But until then, we we'll change. And we'll talk. I think it's for it. Oh, you don't ink Oh, the only part I didn't want to mention it was is the new buddy, um, Elvis, and at the end of the Elvis, at all, the Elvis is for you, Dan and Billy, um, pre um, Connor Martigua, engineers, do I get to it? Um, also, I can be on Twitter, you can just comment on with two stars, you can develop a kind of song story, do you can, I'll tell you, well, no one, I, I, I would like to thank the comic creators for giving me that information, because without him in general, I wouldn't really talk about this. Congress, um, thank you for telling me, but, well, not telling me, don't do it, I'll do, I'll do a the word about the information, and, um, I hope when you're on the, um, you guys have a great day, and, um, 
got got you man and um thank you I've been doing Randy got you man I hope I see your show channel for meeting and I hope that you turn be great fun today we sent and we'll talk I don't know much about the new new Elvis and the Anna at the Elvis that was pretty damn buried. I'm pre on Connor Motiga, my engineers, so I get to hear also the video on Twitter. You can just comment on my two stars, click the bell, kind of some story. Because you can, I'll talk on it. See you in See ya. Bye, see you in Bye, 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 bye.